Hello, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how, with a step-by-step -step process, how you can set up OBS Studio with the Elgato Camera Hub, which means you can have a green screen on your camera without actually having a green screen in the background. Now, this uses NVIDIA's or NVIDIA. What is it, NVIDIA? Is it a silent N? Does anyone know how it's pronounced? If you know how it's pronounced, drop it in the comments below. Anyway, we're going to be using NVIDIA's broadcast software, which basically is software that's been licensed to partners like Elgato to be able to integrate the same facility into their software. Elgato fairly recently released the Camera Hub software, which allows you to do a load of different effects on the camera, even if you're not using an Elgato face cam camera. Elgato have just opened up this software for any camera. I'm here using a Sony A5100, and this all works perfectly. Hopefully you found this useful. If you do, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and let's go. So what am I going to be covering in this video? Well, we're going to be installing quite a lot of software here to enable this to work, but don't worry, you only need to install it all once and it's quite easy to do. So first of all, we do need to install the Elgato Camera Hub software. And again, this does not need an Elgato camera to make it work. Next up, we need to in install NVIDIA Broadcast, which is the software itself that enables you to basically remove the background from your broadcast and the final bit of the software that we're going to be installing is basically the bridge between those other two softwares it's called the SDK and it basically allows Elgato as an NVIDIA partner to use that same functionality within its software hopefully that all makes sense I'll put some stupid logos on screen so that it maybe makes a little bit more sense to you the power of animation or something like that. Another really important thing to consider here before you get into this is that this only works with RTX graphics cards. So RTX 2060s, 2070s, 2080s, whatever, 3080s. Are 4080s out yet? 4090s, 3090s, I don't know. As long as your graphics card has got RTX after it, then this will all work for you because it uses some part of the special chip inside of the graphics card or something. I don't know. Well done, NVIDIA. First up, we're going to need to install the Camera Hub software so you can do a search for Elgato Camera Hub, link in the description as well below. You need to just select your product. You can just pretty much select any of the camera softwares. Hey, I select Camlink 4K because that's what I have. And you'll see here the Camera Hub appears as a suggested piece of software. Just get this installed. Make sure you select whether it's Windows or Mac that you're installing on. Usual install process here. It'll download here. You make sure you select Keep and then you can just click on the icon there and it will go through the installation process. Hopefully by now, if you're streaming, you do know how to install things. For me, I've already got it installed. So I'm just going to cancel that installation process because it's here already installed. You should now see this in your tray, but if you don't, do a search for Camera Hub in your Windows and open this software up. I'd recommend pinning this software to your start bar as well if you want to. And from here, it will basically know that you've got lots of different types of cameras and it will detect the cameras available. However, you'll see here the effects tab needs you to download the S. DK. Before we get into that, we're first going to download the NVIDIA broadcast software as well. Now, I don't actually think you need to download the NVIDIA broadcast software, but there's no reason not to have this on your computer as well. It means that if you want to, you can pull the technology from NVIDIA's virtual camera instead of Elgato's virtual camera. It gives you two different options to use this same technology. I've not tested whether or not you even need to install NVIDIA broadcast, so I'm just being lazy here and telling you to install both. So here's the NVIDIA broadcast app. Again, I'll drop it in the description below so you can quickly access this. You just have to go through this installation. The custom installation, there's not really any options, so you might as well just go for the express. Now, at the time of this video, I did not have NVIDIA broadcast installed, so I'm showing you here exactly how you can install this. It's just the normal thing you'd expect from any kind of installation. But think about what we've basically done here. We've installed Elgato's version of managing a camera or different camera sources and the effects. And we've installed Vidya's version of the exact same thing. We've basically now got those two options that we can work with if we want to then push either of those into something like OBS Studio, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, I don't know, TikTok, anything like that. Now, final thing we do need to install is this Video Effect SDK. Now, this again is NVIDIA licensing out that software into Elgato. It basically means you've got a piece of software on your machine to use the same effect with inside Elgato's version of that software. Now you'll know if you've got this installed already, this is the SDK, because when you click on the effects tab within the Elgato Camera Hub software, it will either 
it'll be all blurred out, all the effects, or you'll have the option there to say you need to download this. Once this is successfully installed, you will now see within the Elgato Camera Hub software the ability to change those effects that we showed earlier and just have a play around with these. You can blur things out. You can add NVIDIA broadcast directly. You can add a blue screen or a green screen or your own custom image if you want to do that. But you can also just do those things inside of OBS Studio. You don't have to do it inside of the Camera Hub. But this is quite cool because it then means you don't have to do it in OBS. Theoretically here, what you can do is you can use all these things inside like Microsoft Teams or I don't know, like Zoom or TikTok or something different to OBS Studio. But essentially we've now got this all set up and now we can look at installing this into OBS Studio. Now, before we do this, there's one thing we just need to talk about, right? We need to understand the way the cameras are being used because you need to understand that the camera might try to be used by different functions, different applications. Now, we just need to be careful here to check which applications are using the camera. The application that we want to use the camera is the one that is going to apply the effect to it. So if you're going to use NVIDIA Broadcast as the source for the green screening, then make sure that NVIDIA Broadcast has got authority on the camera. The way you would do this is close down all the other applications first and open up NVIDIA Broadcast. Or if you want the Elgato Camera Hub software to use your camera, make sure that you close everything else down and open up the Elgato camera hub software. The thing is, if you've already got OBS open and it's using your camera, then you will not be able to use it within NVIDIA Broadcast or within the Elgato Hub software. So you need to close down OBS Studio. And if that still doesn't work, try opening up OBS Studio, right clicking on the camera source, go into the properties and deactivate the camera within OBS Studio. Remember, you may need to reactivate that at a later stage. But essentially what we're doing here is we're actually replacing the use of that. You're not going to be using it inside of OBS Studio. You're going to be using a new virtual version of it from the Camera Hub software from Elgato or the video software, if you see what I mean. It's a very long-winded way of saying if you're experiencing troubles with this, make sure you close everything down and make sure that the camera source is only being used inside the main because we're going to use a virtual version of it. Now, if you want to use the NVIDIA broadcast software directly instead of Elgato's Camera Hub software, you need to open a new scene, add a new source as shown here, and you want to make sure that the device that you're selecting on that source, you need to make sure that it's the NVIDIA broadcast source that's used instead of your actual camera source. It's using a virtual camera. It just means that broadcast in this example has got the authority over the camera and then a virtual version of that is what's used inside of OBS Studio. Likewise with the Elgato Camera Hub software, all you have to do is add a new video source to a test scene or something like that. You can name this like Elgato Camera Hub virtual camera or something like that. Click OK on that and you can basically just apply a green screen to this camera and then use that scene elsewhere. Bear in mind here, if you know about nested scenes, you can basically create a green screen camera in one scene and then add that scene embedded within other scenes. But this now... <laughs> is essentially using a version of that software. This time, instead of it through NVIDIA Broadcast, it's using it through Elgato's Camera Hub software. All that's left to do is add a chroma key if you've added a green background. Make sure you're selecting green, and this is now a green screen. Now, first, what you will have needed to do here within the Camera Hub software, the Elgato Camera Hub software, is add a green background, and then add a green chroma key. Now, I've done separate videos all about green screens, so you may want to check them out in the description below and I'll leave it on the card here. Now, essentially, you can put the camera above an image or your gameplay or something like that. And as you can see, the effect is fairly cool here. Seems to work quite well. So that was exactly how you could install Elgato's Camera Hub software using NVIDIA Broadcast into your OBS Studio. Three different pieces of software, but hopefully, as you can agree, one quite good looking outcome. And this software is only gonna get better and better. Very keen to see how you, the viewers, actually use this. If you've got a cool way of using it, let me know how you're using it in the comments. If you found it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe and have a great day.